Shalom. Who praises to Yahweh? Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakar Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole full elect. This is Paya Allah from the GMS London camp. Coming back at you again. And this video is going to be entitled, Are Black People Cursed? Okay? And and really, the, the title is just for the sake of fucking clickbait. But, um, you know, if you know anything, know about the Israelites according to prophecy the true Jews or really the true Israelites of the Bible are so-called Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans okay and they when you look in any Amer let's let's deal with America when you look at America in the ghettos who's there those people the so-called Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans and why is that because it's a curse from the Heavenly Father all right America, which actually the word America means bitter, okay, was basically formed for the sake of the curse written in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, to be carried out, okay? And for prophecy, which it tells you in um, Revelation, the 19th chapter, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is, is a spirit of prophecy, okay? So it's to bring testament or, you know, proof of Yahweh Shai's spirit. Which we're all for, man. So we we uh, we we went into slavery to fulfill prophecy. It tells you the word of the heavenly Father don't go out void. So this this wherever it goes out, it goes out to accomplish. So this is to show that the heavenly Father is not a liar. And in doing so, it also shows that the children of Israel, who we are, we're 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 low at this we're at the low at this moment, but we're gonna be gathered back together and we're gonna be exalted on high. So this Hosea 5 and 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Okay? So I'll read it again. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Now the Heavenly Father, there was a time during this time um, in Hosea, basically even Paul acknowledges that there'll be a falling away first. Okay? And that came during a time of... Um, the Roman Empire, 70 AD, and um, when we fled to the interiors of Africa, also Europe, um, Asia, we, we were scattered to the four winds, basically, and then we became a no people, all right? We weren't known as the Israelites no more. During the time of the Dark Ages, when we ruled over um, different land masses, one I want to take into account, England, for example, you had the Jacobean period, which was when King James came into rulership, okay, which was acknowledgement of us being Jacob, but they were known as English, okay, because we were known as a no people. We lost our heritage, and ultimately to this time period that we're in now, because we knew it still when it when it was on the west coast of Africa before we got taken into slavery. But guess what? We ultimately lost that through by way of slavery, and that's why you still have remnants of people saying, "Yo, we're the Israelites." But they can't really delve into the scriptures and really pull it out the way the prophets will, okay, of great millstone. So it says, I will go return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. Okay, in their affliction, they will seek me early. And that happened starting with Abba Bivens, okay. He was the one, as it tells you in Malachi, the book of Malachi, it tells you that um, basically that you send back Elijah in the last the Lord will send Elijah to turn the hearts unto the fathers. So basically, we had um, Abba Bivens come back in a, as a, who is Elijah, all right, and also John the Baptist. He came back and he basically um, pulled us back onto the Heavenly Father. Then you had High Priest Ariel break down the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, to, to get very specific as to who we are according to the tribes. And that was done all through the Spirit. Okay, why? Because in their affliction, they will seek me early. What was he going through in the land of America, man? Slavery, okay? According to the prophecy, we're in the book of Deuteronomy, okay, the 28th chapter, which I'm going to grab. And this don't fit no other people on the earth, all right? This only, this only rests upon the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You can try and say the Jews, you know, under the Nazis. Nah, but when you go through the book of Deuteronomy, it tells you, Okay, 
that basically we're going to slave, we're going to Egypt by way of ships. And even more so, it, we're, the way we're going to be redeemed is by um, King da by by the Lord, basically. All right, Yahweh Shai, King David is going to be set up over the kingdom. And the state of Israel is not the kingdom of heaven, all right? They don't have the 12 tribes and they're not even going by it. They don't have the, the land, you know, partitioned by that. And they don't even have the whole land. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's what happened to us, man. The Lord turned his back on us because we weren't following the commandment, we weren't keeping to the covenant. So what did he do? He said he, he carried out, he fulfilled the words that he spoke. He turned his back on us, all right? And these curves, curses, it says, and these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, and they have, all right? And that's why, uh, even verse 16, it says, Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Now, in the city, where do we live? We live in the ghettos, man. And even when you look up the etymology of the word ghetto, it means a place where the Jews dwell. So, through the Spirit, where we're dwelling, our dwellings are according to this prophecy, okay? Through the spirit so in these last days you know the Lord has redeemed us okay um okay so I'm gonna read Hosea 1 and 9 then said Yahweh Call his name lower me, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall so the Lord said he's not our people, but still Israel shall be a great nation, which cannot be measured. Okay? And that's the time period we're in right now. Okay, we got the prophets of the Lord, headed by great the apostles of great millstone. Okay, you have all the prophets out there. In different lands, okay, we're prophesying against this kingdom as a prophet should do, as it tells you in Jeremiah 28 and 8, all right? And um, it says, um, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, okay? And it shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. So it's going to be known, the Lord is going to make it known that we're the children of Israel in these last days, okay? And with all that, all the numbers that are out there, the gathering shall come by the, the, the angels, man, all right? We're going out there setting a mark upon the people. Really, the angels are doing that, but we're following, we're doing what we, we ought to do by prophesying. Verse 11, Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land for ye great shall be the dead Jezreel and that's what's going to happen man that's what's going to happen these are the days that we're in um, verse 4 Hosea 3 and 4 for the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice and without an image and without an ephod and without a teraphim afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their power and David their king and shall fear the Lord and the good and his goodness in the latter days. And these are the days that we're in. We're living in the last days when the Lord is gonna make his, his he's gonna make his presence known upon the earth. He's doing so right now, but people he's gonna make it very plain and establish his name. Okay? So with that man I pray you edify shallow walk.